Hi, this is Jacob from The Verge, and I'm sitting in the Porsche Carrera concept car running Hunix OS. And uh, we're going to take a look at some of the new features in it. I have my mobile device here, and I have the head unit in, in my Porsche. So what I'm going to do is actually slide the phone under here. I have an NFC tag that has some Bluetooth pairing information in it. I'm instantly paired. So I have my Bluetooth pair. I haven't had to do any searching or listening or anything like that. I am paired with the device. So I'm going to use Bridge as the secure link. It's a secure link. It's my email. It's my calendar. I still want it to be secure. So in this situation, I'm going to select the device. And I am going to have to put in a password for the first time because it's, it's, it is personal information. I want to make sure that it is secure. And then obviously, we've brought in the, the, the feel for the, the, the applications from the playbook in this, in this particular situation. Where in parked in a parked situation, you can actually view your email, reply to them, and all of that type of stuff. But when you're driving, you're not going to obviously be able to look at any of this. So we're just going to close it down. Rather than sending an email to myself on the CES floor, it's going to take you know an hour for that message to actually come across. I'm just going to mark this as unread, and I'm going to get a notification that I have a new email. Message from Justin Wu. Subject. Testing one, two, three. And does this work with text messages and BBMs as well? Yep. Yeah, so okay. all of the technologies. Can you compose a message by, by, by voice? Or? Absolutely possible. Okay. Um, we have full, full speech rack here on the floor. It's not going to happen. So the hardware platform it is itself is essentially the, the playbook platform, but we've remoted a lot of things like power and a lot of the control buttons, the HDMI out, the USB things have been remoted out and moved so that we can actually connect it into the car system itself. So we actually removed the, the, the head unit, which was, is a Kunix system as well, and we've connected it to the most ampli amplifier that's here, so that you're actually getting that rich sound. Um, speaking of rich sound, I'll go into the, the multimedia player. So what we've done here is actually a true multi-node multimedia player, where I can see the center console as well as the left and rear seat entertainment systems. So right now what you're doing is controlling the center console. So if you pick a song, we're playing that song. So the really cool thing actually is I can actually push content and control the rear seat entertainment systems as well. So I'm going to go to the screen where I can see the other systems that are running. I can select the left rear seat and there's a song paused on it. And that left rear seat's playing that song right now. So is that playing through the headphone jack on the playbooks in the back? No, it's using the speakers on the playbook, but you could use the headphone jack, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to pause it. It'll stop back there. Go back to the, my, my center console. Pause this. Another thing that I can actually do is pull content. So I'm controlling the center console, but maybe I want to pull content from one of the rear seat entertainment systems. Yeah. Yeah. Artist. No artists. Yeah. And then just pick a song. Afrojack. So that's coming from the, the playbook behind me. I'm pulling the content from that. Over and above what we what we've done in the head unit is we also pulled out the analog instrument cluster and the analog chronometer and put Kinex systems in place. So we have a fully digital instrument cluster, fully digital chronometer as well. The really cool thing is all of the systems are actually tied into one another. So I can actually see what's going on in the instrument cluster from the head unit. Um, I can control the cluster uh, through voice. I'll try and do it on the show floor just to, just to get a rough idea. I'm going to have to lean in front just okay. to see if I can pick it up. But uh, cluster demo mode. So that's race mode there where, this, where we actually have uh, a picture of a track, and it actually follows the track based on the speed that you're and taking. And it's GPS location. Though, to make it would sure use you're actually on It would use GPS. Track. Yeah, right here, it's not going to do much. Yeah, but okay, but yeah, yep. Yeah. So another really cool thing uh, at at the front of the car is actually doing uh, super high def stereo telephony phone calls. They're in the sound booth behind us. So Phil, can you give us a rundown of the technology? Just the thirty second overview. Sure. So what you're actually listening to. Um, Actually, I hear a little bit of it. So if I actually, I'm talking right down in the, in the center right now, so you can probably hear me coming out the whole speakers. But if I move over here, you can probably hear me coming out one side. I can't remember, am I coming out the left or right over there? You're coming out of the passenger side. Passenger side, okay. Yep. And now I'm coming over here to the driver's side. I so you can imagine, yeah, so now I'm back in the center. So you can imagine if uh, you're talking to a group of people and there's a lot of conversation going on, you can, uh, you can help to disambiguate the different talkers in the group. This particular head unit, is the, this interface is GL. It's open, open GL. GL. Okay. Yeah, so we've built on the, the, playbook pla the playbook platform, and we've put an automotive look and feel as well as the technologies required and to develop this kind of thing. car manufacturers are using this already or will be using this So, in I mean, we're, uh, we're one of the single largest shipping uh, real-time operating systems in the info infotainment and telematics industry. Okay. Um, all of the major OEMs we talk to, um, I'm not sure who I can say actually 
do, do that. Yeah, and then this is car 1.5, and then there's another platform, so car, car 2. So Kunix car 2.0 okay. is our HTML5 full reference design. This is a pure concept car to talk about the thing, the, the art of the possible. Mm -hmm. The things that you can do with the phone, multi-node, instrument clusters. With, the, with, with Kunix car 2, it's a full HTML5 with the ability to use GL and all these other things, other types of graphics technologies to really make a really rich look and feel just like this. Uh, but using HTML5 as the, 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 the application framework and the, the ability to scale as far as applications are concerned. Well, thank you very much. No I'm problem. just going to drive off in this. I, oh, uh, I'll as show long, you the door. As long as, long as I can come with much. you, I'm thank good. You